Welcome Libra. This is going to be your timeless love reading of someone you're not talking to, okay? Or someone you're not talking to right now, or you could be in separation with. We do have the Seven of Cups coming through, which is something is becoming clear to you. There may be a struggle and a connection for sure with that Ten of Cups, something that feels, you know, just unhappy. Yeah, that you may be going back and forth about. We do have the Five of Rings, which is feeling a bit lonely here, or feeling like you're recovering or going through something here. Uh, could be some sadness too, or just feeling down. But let's get more into it. We have the Page of Wands coming through. Okay, Seven of Wands, Six. Okay, Six of Swords is the problem. I mean, sorry, is the obstacle, is the challenge of this connection. Something stuck. All right, High Priestess. There may be something about this connection to where you go back and forth with because of something that happened in the past. Okay, and it's like bringing up the past a lot about some things that are just hard to resolve or to kind of like forgive because there is like a sense of like a fear of getting hurt or this person doing something like they did in the past to you again. Uh, we do have this Knight of Wands energy coming through. Yeah, as we have the Seven of Swords. I don't feel like you really trust this person uh, but there is a feeling of going back and forth with your emotions. Maybe this is a family dynamic for some of you guys to where it's not that easy to just leave or, or, or to get out of something here. All right, let's see. I'm curious to see what happened in the past because the high priestess is showing that things were hidden. There was some secrets. Ooh, we have messages coming in. We have a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. Is this a new interest? Okay, some excitement coming in your life. Feeling fiery. <laughs> Chemistry, flirtation. All right, someone is defensive. Someone is like, feels like they have their guard up. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles, you may me looking at other options just saying for some i mean just between me and you that's what i'm seeing but the ace of pentacles energy is just saying like someone feels that you're a missed opportunity they don't want to lose you but at the same time they're not being very stable in their energy whoever this may be um they're coming up very stubborn out of balance not very um kind kind of emotionally unavailable. Uh, they're coming off as, you know, just all over the place. I don't know, I don't know how to explain this, but just like kind of giving you mixed signals. It just feels like a stubborn energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The challenge is the star. It's hard to heal from something. Okay, it's hard to, for to forgive or to forget something that this person did. It's hard to just be like, Okay, well, I could trust you now. No, because it, it could have happened more than once for some of you guys, whatever this happened, whatever happened here, where you just lost faith, feel disconnected from this person, but still like kind of wanting a little bit of hope. But it's like, it just feels like this is the problem. This is the obstacle because it's like a fear of getting hurt or this person doing it once again, because it hurt. It was shocking. It was a betrayal. It's hard to release this pain or this past thing that has happened. And to be honest, I feel like you kind of lost respect for this person. You know? Okay. Maybe there was messages that you found. Oh, somebody could be coming into your energy. Just saying. Just saying. I am seeing a, a bit of spark light coming through your your energy and defense on theirs. Hmm. Take what resonates, remember. 
<clears throat> okay. Messages in the past. Let's see what this person's thinking. Okay, there's a separation. I mean, to be honest, Libra, maybe you're moving on. Maybe you're going back and forth with somebody. I'm just saying, I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm just seeing because there are messages coming in and when it comes to stability with this person, it's like you don't really trust them. Okay, okay. Two of Cups is coming in. Again, take what resonates. Two of Cups is coming in. This person's feeling lonely because they don't want to be separated from you. There's a disharmony. There's a breakup and they don't like this feeling. They still maybe think that they can, you guys can work some, you could work it out if you guys invest again. Give, give that equal give and take again. Bring them something into balance. I see lots of pentacles energies, which is money or stability. Somebody's in their head. Somebody's in their head. They're hurt. Could be crying too. They're having like a panic attack or like something was keeping them up at night. Something's paranoid. They're paranoid. When it's in the reverse, they're paranoid. They're worried about like, are they worried about getting caught? Or what, what, what is going on? Did you say something? Because Queen of Swords is coming in and this is, okay, I love when the Queen of Swords comes in, Libra, because this is basically saying to me, like how you're operating is like, you're not wanting any more BS. You're not scared to lose this person, okay? You're, you are, like something happened to where it just turned you into more logic over emotion. You're more thinking logical. You're coming in cold, clear thinking, and that's it. And if this person wants to come at you with lies and BS, you, you're you gonna see right through that. You only want the truth and, and, and that's all, okay? You deserve the, re the respect. You, you deserve, um, you know, everything here with that Queen of Swords. You, th this whole Knight of Wands energy, which is in inconsistent, um, goes back and forth, you know, unstable, whatever. It's not going to work with you, Libra. I don't feel like it's going to work with you anymore. You have options. You, you can, you, you can, I mean, I'm not trying to say, you know, anything, but... I feel you're a very attractive person and you have options and you're confident. I think confidence and you just being authentic makes you attractive. But this person in the near future, something's happening. So, so something about moving, making a choice to move. You're making a big, big choice. Like you're leaving this wand behind which is this other path behind and looking out more into the world and more of adventure and your life as we have the chariot because something here is like not worth feeling the pain anymore something is bringing you closer to yourself you may have new love that's why this person's freaking out for some are like scared that you are going to find somebody what is this seven of swords this is more of the um, outcome. This is, so basically what this is saying is that this choice is really big. Or if you made the choice to get out, it was like because you saw that this was going to be kind of the situation. You were not gonna trust this person. You were gonna be in your head, always doubting what this person is doing next. You know, losing you losing sleep, you feeling depressed, you, you wondering if this person is seeing anybody else or why they're up you know, out late, or if they really say, or if they're really going to work that day, or if they're going to go be with somebody. That's what I'm feeling is why you're making a choice for yourself, or you did make a choice to come out of this, okay? All right, let's get their dark, dark confessions. What's going on? Why the Nine of Swords? I think they're really, really hurt. Too many cards, sorry guys. Aye, aye, aye. They just want to fly out. Okay, Libra. 
I think of you at night when the world is asleep and my mind is awake. That's them. I can't be vulnerable with you. I rather hide in the darkness before I let you see inside me. I'm afraid that your feelings for me are not mutual. Yeah, it's like you they feel you losing feelings for them, for sure, are lost feelings. I'm embarrassed by my actions and I feel disgusted with myself. Yeah, it's something like they they know this was wrong, whatever it is. It's hard that it's hard to like like something will all like seems like it always comes up because it was so like either it happened multiple times or that it was just like unforgettable shocking in a way like where it just brought so much doubt and pain in your life where you just really can't trust this person at all you know oh by the way i am working on um other spreads okay more of something new coming in like new love okay so if you are talking to somebody new I will try to get those out this month. Uh, foolish, I feel like an idiot for the choices I've made. I wasn't thinking clearly at the time. See this person. Yeah, but then I feel like, Libra, you heard this before. Like, I feel like some of you are rolling your eyes. You know, <laughs> I feel like you're rolling your eyes. Like, um, oh gosh, you know. Uh, within a year or more, okay. And freedom, I can't be tied down right now. I have too many interests interesting well it doesn't i feel like you already kind of see how this person is it's like the moment they're like they'll deny 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 and then when they get caught or you have suspicions it's like they deny deny but then you come up with receipts or you come up with something and it's like and then they're like fall apart but they only fall apart because they got caught and they know that they're going to lose you now but if you gave them more than one chance it feels like you know they're they still have that hope that maybe you'll come back to them again or stick with them um, eventually. And even if this person does move on, it feels like this is how they behave or how they act. It has nothing, like again, Libra, it has nothing to do with your, your looks or what you said or how you carry yourself. It has nothing to do with that. Sorry, I don't mean to yawn. It's been a long day. <laughs> but uh, you are... A catch, okay. There's, there, but some somebody did something, and it's not really making you forget about what they did. All right, let's get a message here. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, six six. All right, 999, nine, nine. thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am new, unique. Three, expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. I am charismatic, I am positive. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I like these messages for you a lot. I think they're beautiful. Okay, very beautiful. You may be seeing nines or threes or sixes. Are these numbers represent something in your life? All right, Spirit is saying, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Libra, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here. I hope this message helped. I hope it brought clarity to you. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.